Hi, my name is Asia Bentoncourt McCarthy and I'm a librarian at Oregon Tech. Today I'm going to talk about how to find credible information on controversial topics. Persuasive speeches and argumentative writing are two areas where playing, paying close attention to the sources you use is essential. Your points will only be as strong as the evidence you use to support them. When considering information to include in your assignments, you'll want to look closely at your sources and scan for clues about when the source was published or updated, who wrote and published the content, and why they took the time to do so. While there are likely a variety of types of sources that you can use in your project, you need to be able to communicate to your audience that you understand both the content of your source, but also what kind of source it is and why the information it contains is useful. One way to locate sources that have made some of this information explicit is to use the Oregon Tech Library's resources. First, navigate to the library homepage through TechWeb or by entering the URL www.oit.edu forward slash libraries into your web browser. From here, navigate to the electronic resources. This opens a page of all of the library's electronic resources listed in alphabetic order, which can be useful if you're looking for something specific. In this case, we're looking for resources that span a wide variety of topics, so we'll click the Find by Subject plus sign on the right side of the page. This expands the list of options, and we will click the link for General Interest, which is about in the middle of the list. We are now on the General Interest Subject Guide page. This page includes information about a number of resources you can use to find information about a wide variety of topics. There are also a couple of resources that are specifically designed to help with controversial topics. One of these is CQ Researcher, which is the second link in the Quick Links section. Click on the link. If you're prompted to log in, use your username and password, the same ones you'd use for MyOIT. Once you're logged in, you're taken to a page where you can see featured and recent reports, as well as the option to browse reports or search for topics. As an example, if I search for education, I bring up a number of reports that address aspects of this topic. I can also easily locate a report date to ensure that I am accessing a report that's current. After clicking on the title of the report, in this case higher education funding, I can read the full report immediately, but also have options in the top right corner to save a PDF copy of the report, email a link to myself, and get citation information for the report. While each report is a little bit different, most have a number of sections including an introduction, background information, and information about current topics related to the issue. In addition, there's a pro-con section where people argue both sides of the issue. For example, here are two people with knowledge of the field address the question of whether teachers are underpaid. As you can see, both people are listed with their credentials and the report's author's credentials are also listed at the end of the report. Knowing this information can help you evaluate the report and pro-con arguments by putting them in context. One caveat about this resource, these reports while providing a good overview on a number of topics, tend to focus on issues that are broad and current, so they might not work well for all topics. To access resources on a wider range of topics, we're going to go back to the General Interest Subject Guide and click, click on the link for Gen Opposing Viewpoints, which is the first resource in the More Sources area. Once you've opened Opposing Viewpoints, you have an opportunity to browse issues and view issues of interest, as well as searching for specific topics. Based on what I found in CQ Researcher, I'm going to search for education funding. After searching, I can see that I have a number of different types of results, from images to news articles to academic journals and statistics. I also have a number of viewpoints which are unique to this resource. By scanning the title of these articles, I get a sense that they are written from a particular perspective or viewpoint. These can be particularly helpful when crafting persuasive communication because you can both see models of this type of writing as well as get an idea of some of the counterarguments or resistance you might encounter. When we open a viewpoint, you can see the author and date listed at the top of the article. In addition, you can find tools to help you cite and save the article at the top of the page. I hope that these two resources can help you get started on finding information about controversial topics. If you have any questions, please contact the library at libtech.oit.edu.